Hey guys, um, so I know I've already done a video, um, of the Ray previously, but I thought I'd just do another one, um, just with the, uh, tripod, as obviously it has a better, uh, focus and whatnot, um, and then I can, um, yeah, just show things off a bit better, as I'm not struggling, um, to hold the phone and do the... Um, showing at the same time. Alrighty, so um, quick update to start off with. Pop culture or well, icon do have the September batch. Um, I didn't think there was going to be a September batch, and then in the very um, late, would have been Thursday night, late Thursday night, they updated a fair few. Um, Scout Trooper, the Mandalorian one, updated. Captain America, Ray, Kylo Ren, or this Ray, um, Kylo Ren, and um, it was possibly about it. There may have been others. Um, I only typically look at the ones that I've ordered, so um, I do miss some from time to time. Like, uh, for example, last month I missed um, one of the, I think it was something Iron Man related, simply for the fact that I hadn't, um, ordered that, and I did miss, yeah, and I, I missed, um, 85, when 85 became available, um, as I didn't order that, uh, I want to maybe pick an 85 up sometime soon, but just because we've had release, 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 uh, whenever there's a big batch come in, I just haven't, um, had the budget to do that. Alright, so, um, that happened. And so that was going to be for Wednesday. However, they've actually made a mistake because it was yesterday. Um, so yesterday afternoon, everything updated to say in stock. Um, and the previously missed deluxe Mandalorian with the bike, he is now in the country. Um, that's what Icon has shown. So that is that there. Um, <clears throat> so definitely for a fact, Kylo Ren, Ray. The Mando Scout Deluxe, the Mando Scout, and uh, Endgame Captain America are all sitting uh, in Icon right now. Um, we'll probably get sorted by Pop Culture over the next couple of days. Hopefully they've done it by Wednesday, who knows. Um, I am going to... I did request my invoices for the items that I'm picking up yesterday, but that <coughs> did not come through for whatever reason. So I'm going to have to ring them on Monday and really get those invoices sent out um, as I want to avoid uh, getting caught up in all the invoicing delays and stuff they do when they have to go through every order because um, people have a million pre-orders right so <clears throat> um, that um, I have no idea what's going on with the clone trooper deluxe uh, I think I worked out that we're on business day 25 or something um, it was probably even more than that actually um, it was supposed to be 12 business days. Um, I added, because it took 14 days for me to get the Thor um, from William, I thought, yeah, you know what, they're both coming from Hong Kong, they're both coming through Express Post. Uh, the Thor took about, I think it was just over two weeks, so I was like, okay, that's fine. Uh, when it hit week number three, um, I went back to Wonderland, and they were like, yeah, just wait. And, I'm, and they told me that would be this many business days and I said yeah it's been already eight more than that um and then they told me to wait a little bit longer and so I went back to them uh the day would have been Wednesday and um said look it's still not here what's going on um I think they're attempting to find out where it is I don't know never using that again um because that's just ridiculous but anyway um alrighty so Accessories. She does have the um, backpack, so you have the strap and go on her. Um, I believe that's a functioning clip, so you can put um, the lightsabers in there if you wish. Uh, we do get the wrap that she buried in the sand uh, at the end of the film. Uh, you can untie this if you want to, it just folds out into a piece of cloth, uh, but you can see that they do actually uh, have pre-folded, um, this isn't tied relatively tight, but they have pre-folded, um, the little wraps for you to put the two sabers in there already, if you don't want to unfold it, um, so having said that, we do actually get two, 
Uh, and I'll show the second one off in a minute. We do get two of these um, Skywalker hilt sabers. Um, I'm going to actually give one to the Kylo Ren because uh, the Rise of Skywalker Kylo Ren, I'm just going to actually just take the cape off and have him as um, Ben Solo. <clears throat> Um, as I think I'm going to like that sculpt a bit more than the Last Jedi one. Uh, but we'll see. Um, as I did, as I mentioned, I did get the Ray. Um, had the Ray for about two weeks now. So paying the same price as um, Australian Retail and having her for that two weeks extra is pretty nice. Um, I've had Endgame Cap for ages now. Um, so yeah, very nicely detailed, has all the regular things. The only change is now we do have the strap around that they used um, with the welding to repair it. Um, now, already coming assembled with the swish effect, uh, it does remove, obviously. Um, we do get Leia Organa's hilt as well, so you can place it in the sand. Um, I might have, I might actually just give this to the Leia, um... I haven't decided which one. I might give it to the Endor layer, perhaps. Uh, just because that's uh, the newest uh, version we have, other than the... Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure, um, but I definitely will give this to a layer. Um, it is her saber. So again, very nicely detailed. We have that copper, and we also do have it so we can hang on a belt. Um, Ray herself doesn't actually have the hook for it, though. Uh, which is fine. Um, so identical to the... Identical to the other one, this time just with the uh, blade inside it. Uh, we do have the second Skywalker Saber Hilt. Um, honestly, was I was shocked uh, when I did the original video and we actually got two. Um, so that's very cool, the fact that they gave us two. Um, and again, this one has... Well, maybe that's the difference. Oh, I finally figured out the difference. One of them has a hook. Um, I imagine this is the one that will go inside the cloth then, I guess. Maybe it hooks on. I don't know. I only literally just noticed that hook. Um, which is fine. Because uh, I probably wasn't going to have a cat. Oh, I was probably going to have her hold it anyway. So yeah, I'm going to give this one, as I said, it is identical other than the hook. Um, so I will give this one to Ben Solo and I'll just leave this one in the box, I think. Uh, or I'll... Um, just took it to the side of her or something, I don't know. <clears throat> uh, so we also do get her lightsaber from the end of the film. Um, so this is turned off. This piece here pulls out because we do actually get a extra piece, um, with the... So you can see that it's closed there, and then it's opened there, uh, to allow you to put in either yellow swish effect, if that's what you want to use. I really don't like these. Um, I've never used the swish effects. I've seen a few people take decent photos with them, which is nice. Um, I've just never been a fan of them. <clears throat> and we do get yellow straight blade. So I'll probably have her displayed with the yellow lightsaber. Um, given the fact that Hasbro has now decided to just uh, straight out everything that comes with the yellow lightsaber from now on does have Rey Skywalker printed on it. So I will um, give her the yellow blade. Um, we do get the same staff that we've gotten with each Rey now. Um, uh, we do also get the same blaster. We also do get the same blaster. Uh, that we've gotten um, with a few rays now as well. I think every ray has had this. Alright, so some new accessories other than the sabers. <clears throat> we do get the training helmet. Um, so this section pulls apart, you can um, pop it on her and this moves up and down so you can have, have it up or down um interestingly enough i think you might be able to you might be able to fit this on the end or layer if you wanted to have 
flashback layer maybe. Um, I know the outfit was probably slightly different. Um, in fact, I can't even remember what her outfit looked like in that scene. Um, this kind of annoys me, uh, but I suppose because of the rubber body, they left it off. Um, similar to Wonder Woman, we do get um, an extra strap, which sits just below, or just, um, yeah, just below her shoulder. Um, so you just pull the peg out, pull the wrap off, slide that up and um, have it sitting there. Why they couldn't have just put it on her, I don't know. But like I said, it's probably because it might irritate the, uh, might irritate the body, um, which would be unfortunate, so I understand why they didn't do it. Um, we do, of course, get Dio. Now, Dio uh, is magnetised, so if you pop him on the display stand, uh, he will um, straight away just sit there and he won't fall over. Um, he does have the articulated wheel, um, which does work quite well when sitting on the display stand. And then, of course, he has his head movement as well. Um, he also comes with the antennas, so you can plug into the back there. Um, they give you two sets uh, to avoid you uh, breaking them, I guess, or losing them, um, which is quite nice. Now, I always struggle to get this out because uh, of the edges, but we also do get the train remote. Um, again, different paint app to A New Hope. Quite nice. Um, it does have, um, I'm pretty sure it has a stand. Yeah, so you have that there. Um, so you can peg it in. Um, which works quite well. So, uh, uh, underneath the regular display stand, you do have the clear pole. Clear pole, just, uh, where did it go now? Uh, clear pole just pops in there. There you go. Hovering train remote. Stays on there. Quite nice for the most part. I don't think that's going to fall off. Um, so that's fine. And again, just very nicely detailed. And I do like the colouring. Um, something unique. Uh, there is also a little... Um, unfortunately, it's not clear, but you do have a little black stand um, as well. So at least it's not going to topple over. And then, of course, we get the array display stand. Um, it's kind of a textured print this time around. There's no real... Um, yeah, there's no edging or anything on it. At least it's not that footprinted display stand that we always get, so it's different to that. Um, but I also feel that they could have... I mean, I suppose I don't know really what they could have done, but um, I suppose given the yellow lightsaber, the sand was really all they could do. Um, they could have given us maybe the stone floor of Exegol, perhaps. Uh, but I very... There's rumoured that there's a Palpatine... Um, in development, but I very much doubt we're going to get anything. Um, we should have gotten a Poe Dameron ages ago, but the fact there's no Poe Dameron kind of makes me think otherwise. All right, so Ray herself. Um, as we can see, we do have an amazing head sculpt once again. Be, uh, be careful of these fragile hanging bits, because um, you definitely don't want to snap those off. Um, so it's a similar outfit to what we've gotten each time we've had a ray. Um, just the colouring changes. I really like the white. Uh, yeah, it probably might get a bit dirty over time, I suppose, if you're handling it with um, uh, sweaty hands, whatever, I suppose. Uh, the wraps aren't fabric this time around. Um, so there is no light-up feature like there was for the last Jedi one. But the problem I found was that uh, if you were turning it off and on uh, frequently, which I suppose you wouldn't, but um, if you were opening and closing that, I did see that um, it was fraying a fair bit. Or not really fraying, but um, yeah, it was coming unstuck. Um, so yeah, at least this being sculpted um, stops that, right? But it would have been nice to have gotten at least one light-up feature. But I suppose they wouldn't have been able to do that because you wouldn't have been able to... You would have only been able to light up one saber or the other because uh, it would have been too hard for them. Or it would have been overly expensive if they included a blue light-up arm and a yellow light-up arm or whatever. Um, but that sculpt is 
awesome. Definitely Daisy Ridley as Ray. You can see the new hairstyle at the back as well. Um, so we do have a hood this time around. So you can pop that. Um, it is obviously wired, so you can get a much better fit than what I've um, got at the moment because this is just been sitting in the box. Hangs down quite nicely. So we do get the strap. Um, as I said, I imagine that you could hook that second Skywalker saber here, perhaps, or um, whichever. She does have a holster for the blaster, as per usual, um, and that belt does continue all the way around. Um, you can see the join there. Um, so a very simple outfit. As I said, generally it's the colour that's changing. I sold my Force Awakens one because um, I much preferred the Jedi training um, Last Jedi look, the uh, light grey slash dark blue. Um, so I did prefer that look, um, but I think I really like the white. Um, and other reviewers have shown that you can interchange the uh, sculpts. So if you want the long hair on the white outfit, you can by all means do that. Um, similar to the Kylo, you can just change out the heads. Um, um, of course, uh, with Kylo, you can only do that with the Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker one, as the Force Awakens one uh, had a different neck peg altogether. Um, so yeah, just that simple white. There's a lot of um, there's a bit of <clears throat> I suppose sand colouring on it. Um, as she did slide down the slope, or you could argue um, in the desert when she did the flip. So she has been through a fair bit of sand in this movie. So um, the white wouldn't be perfectly clean. Um, and then, yeah, the articulation, um, you can see that the pants do let her come up a fair bit. Just careful that you're not going to split them, um, but no problems with the arms. Of course, uh, do be careful with the bend because it is rubber. Um, and like the previous rays, all in here is all rubber as well. Um, all right, guys, so this has been a quick look at the ray um, from Rise of Skywalker. As I said, it is currently sitting at Icon. Um, pop culture should start invoicing over the next few days. Um, as I said, I'm going to ring them first thing Monday and get my invoices sorted. Um, and then hopefully over the next week or so, I will have a Mandalorian Scout Trooper and Speeder Bike, a Mandalorian Scout Trooper, then the Kylo Ren to go with um, Ray. Um, so it's just a standard, I didn't forget to mention that it's just a standard box with the ribbon, um, seen it in the previous video anyway, very nice picture of her, um, the pose, and Dio, so yeah, just a standard box that we've always gotten, um, and then the hands are the same hands we've gotten with every ray, uh, the two fists, the lightsaber holding hand, the trigger finger, and then, um, another uh, lightsaber slash staff holding hand as you can have her hold the stuff with both hands. So yeah, um, I'll keep you updated and I'm hoping I can get this damn clone trooper soon too. Um, as I said, it's been, it's uh, been, um, it's been a month of regular days. So take out the three weekends um, it, we're up to 20, you're up to 24 business days, um, and the estimated was 12. I was going to give it 15, um, because that's how long it took Thor to come, uh, by the exact same postage method, uh, but obviously different supplier, um, so yeah, quite disappointed. Um, considering the huge price difference uh, between retail and getting it early. Um, I said I was fortunate enough that this Ray came from the US. It came from a shop called Radar Toys. So they, um, it was the exact same price after I paid the shipping. Um, it was the exact same price as Pop Culture. Um, yeah, alright. Thanks for watching, guys.